Okay, today we're going to explore a couple um, from the Pre-Raphaelite -Pre series. This was, uh, these were paintings done in the middle of the 19th century and reflected a, a certain attitude, as you can tell from the way these ladies are presented. But uh, uh, once in a while they have to do their laundry, so we have the uh, Pre-Raphaelite laundromat. Uh, normally they would just be smelling flowers and brushing their hair and laying about in Greco-Roman garb on uh, seascapes or couches, but uh, you know, on every, every other Thursday they, uh, they go to the laundromat and do the washing. Uh, and they, uh, instead of flowers, they have to smell their socks or these beautiful dryer sheets. Uh, uh, invented for this uh, very occasion. And these are uh, mostly by Millet and uh, Waterhouse and Rossetti. Uh, here's, uh, here's Ophelia. She's usually floating in the water because she's dead, but here she's just uh, floating in the washing machine. Here's Flaming June up here. She's always sleeping, so she doesn't know where the hell she is anyway. Anyway, pre-Raphaelite laundromat. Oh yeah, she's, this one here, she's, uh, she's stealing laundry from the other lady. That goes on, uh, you know, even in the pre-Raphaelite times, and, you, know, you know. Anyway, after they do their laundry, they're going to go get some coffee. So, they go to the Starbucks, part of the Starbucks series. It's uh, called Pre-Raphaelite Hour. It's be uh, because they get half price, I think, on lattes and uh, maybe bagels, I'm not sure. Anyway, just like your regular Starbucks people, they've got their uh, laptops and their, and their smartphones and uh, they're all getting their coffee. Ophelia must be floating on something up there. Anyway, uh, yeah. They love their Starbucks, pre-Raphaelite hour at Starbucks.